At a recent seminar held by Defence Research and Development Organisation of India, India's Defence Minister Mr. Rajnath Singh encouraged the scientists to work on the manufacturing or developing of hypersonic missile systems in view of China's successful testing of hypersonic glide vehicle. Jai Hind, the topic for today's lecture is India's missile capabilities. India's missile capabilities dates back to the times of Mysore when Tipu Sultan had around 50,000 soldiers with missile systems. During the independence, India had no indigenous missile developing systems. It was in 1958 that government created the special weapon development team which was later revamped and reformed into Defence Research and Development Laboratory. In 1972, India started working on Project Devil, which was later, you know, reformed as India's Integrated Missile Development Program. So, what do what types of uh, you know missiles does India have currently? First, we talking about the uh, anti-tank missiles. We have Nag. The Nag missile, which has a range of about 20 kilometers. Uh, is a anti-tank guided missile. It can work in any you know weather requirements. A helicopter version of the Nag missile was also tested recently, which is known as Heli Nag, which has a range of about 10 kilometers. It has an indigenous seeker, which can you know seek the uh, mi uh, millimeter waves coming from the target. Means it can you know seek the targets in any weather requirements. We also have tested recently the standoff anti-tank missile which has a range of 10 kilometers. Now talking about the you know surface to air missile systems that is SAM commonly known as SAM. We have Akash missile systems in place. The, the, the first you know test, test was conducted in July this year that is in 2021. Two more tests will be conducted and the you know the latest versions of Akash will be inducted in the army uh, and in the strategic armed forces soon. Then talking about, uh, you know, the um, air to air missiles, we have in place the, you know, uh, Astra. Astra missile is, uh, you know, has been successfully conducted and, uh, you know, it has been inducted as well. Now it is uh, being inducted by the DRTO with the help of, you know, LCA Tejas as well. It will be tested with LCA Tejas and then it shall be made usable with the Air Force now, right? So uh, Astra is a beyond visual range air to air missile. You can call it BV Ram means it has a range of about 100 kilometers. Yeah. And then we have, you know, uh, air to ground missiles, uh, the most uh, new ge newest generation uh, of which we have the Rudram missile. It has a range of 200 kilometers. It mainly targets surveillance communication radar systems and it can be fired from helicopters or even, you know, uh, uh, it was recently, you know, tested uh, by Sukhoi 30 MKI fighter jet. Then uh, we have the Brahmos missile. Which, is, which has been jointly developed by Russia and India and is available with only these two countries. It is a supersonic missile system carrying, it can carry a nuclear warhead as well and uh, it has a stealth, you know, quality. It cannot be easily, you know, uh, 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 you know, um, got in, uh, get in radars of the enemy, right? And then talking about the, you know, uh, of obviously the most important missiles of India. These are Agni and Prithvi, the ballistic missiles of India, right? Agni Prime has a range of 2000 kilometers and Agni 5 has a range of 5000 kilometers. It is the only contender of India's intercontinental ballistic missile. So with the recent, you know, testing of, uh, you know, Agni 5 missile, China had got some sorts of, uh, you know, um, you can say turbulence. Yeah, of course, if India gets a, you know, successful testing of its intercontinental ballistic missile, it's, uh, you know, enemies will have to be turbulent, of course, right?
talking about uh, prithvi it has a range of 350 kilometers it is a short range uh, you know ballistic missile and these two are india's most important you know missiles talking about brahmos as well right then uh, talking we have to you know also talk about hypersonic missiles as i referred china has you know tested its uh, hypersonic glide vehicle right it you know circumscribed complete globe and missed the targets by just about 20 or 24 kilometers but the main provision was it successfully tested and circumscribed the complete globe yeah so india has also you know tested hypersonic technology vehicle uh, uh, hypersonic technology uh, demonstrated vehicle and has successfully shown that uh, it can it has the you know capacity and technology to breathe in the air with hypersonic technology with the scramjet technology of course and you know india sources also say that uh, india has developed its own cyrogenic engine and in a time span of about 4 years uh, india will surely develop hypersonic cruise missiles and will uh, you know join the uh, the only few nations in the place uh, that is us russia and china so uh, so india is among the top few nations which have uh, indigenous missile making capabilities missile uh, designing and developing um, credit to our missile man of india uh, honorable you know dr apj abdul kalam sir so india's missile systems are indigenous we are self reliant self sufficient we have also developed our own cyrogenic engine as i told so uh, just the thing that uh, that we can say that india needs to accelerate its hypersonic missile development program perhaps we sh we should be always working in you know mission mode to be ever ready we shouldn't you know uh, retali retaliate you know after uh, we get uh, the first strike we should be ever ready and we need to really accelerate our hypersonic technology as de uh, also you know encouraged by our defense minister rajnath singh thank you